testing, testing. Alright, enough of that plenty. But what's good? Alright, to all my black people, I need you to understand something. You are special. Okay? You should never believe that you're nothing less. Every day, they try and take everything away from you. They try and torture you, torment you, belittle you, and try and take every sense of, or ounce of pride that you have. They try and make you feel lesser. But when you start doing a little research and start understanding that things aren't always what they seem to be, you start to understand that it is a lot of self-hate that is being passed around and just being passed to us. Because we know that there's black people or people that look like me, have my skin color, on every continent in the world. Why wouldn't they be proud to show them? Why wouldn't they be proud to uplift them? Why do all of us share the same hate? Did that dawn on anybody? We all share the same hate, regardless of whatever nationality or race we say we are, ethnicity. If we look like this, with a real bronze, you, <coughs> excuse me, you get treated different on the whole spectrum. Everybody's experiences are different day to day. They're different in just life in general. However, in the overall aspect, we all then felt it more, or I guess you say some more than others. Because I grew up in Arkansas. So trust me, I understand what real hate looked like. I understand what the smile on your face say they want the best for you, but they only try and get the hang on the curtail so that they can follow or uh, assume some accolades behind your success. But other when you're not even doing anything like that anymore or just don't want to go the course they want you to go, the hate comes out. But back to the original point, why black people are so special is because you ever wonder why they say or why they used to call and sometimes still do call us monkeys. Okay, cool. Why wouldn't you say that about yourself? And I'm not talking to all white people, Caucasian people. I'm talking to those that have a disdain for those that look like them. Why would you consider us apes? And then your evolution theory states that we evolved from apes. Or the latter evolved from apes. So therefore, it would make one assume that you would say that you evolved from us. Because we all understand that two brown, black, melanated individuals can make a white or lighter you baby or albino baby. However, the opposition cannot. So that's just one question I would have to stack to make my brethren and my sisters understand that you are quite special. And this is dominated from their scientific research. Then the second I guess statement, but also question would be, you said, or your scientific research said that people evolved in Africa. Evolved. 
why can't anyone find where they first just originated from? Evolved, originated is two different things. Because people can be transported to a place. People can travel to a place. But that doesn't mean that's where they're from or that's where they derived where they actually taught their civilization, their society flourished and then traveled. So when you say evolve, it begs me to believe that we were everywhere because it leads into another or the third thing anyway. It makes me believe that we were everywhere and in Africa, things transpired, taking place, and the youths started to find different pigments, right? So, when I said that it would lead into the third thing, would be to truly understand that if we were everywhere, right? And the reason I say everywhere is because they believe that there were supercontinents at one point in time. And there's a few of them, right? And we know that if supercontinents break up, right? And if life was extinct or when extinct when did it right when these supercontinents broke up did all life go extinct because then it should be some knowledge of you know the history because the history we have is so short but we know that jellyfishes and trees can be, you know, a lot older than the history of man. Or at least what they want to claim anyway. Because they can tell you about all the Neanderthals and sapiens of the world. Or in the past world but yet the only history that were ever taught in the United States is that of Europe because if we're gonna say that we are learning our history we have to first understand where people were because evolved is not saying that people first originated there But all these theories come to the conclusion that y'all basically say that y'all came from us. Y'all evolved from melanated people. And from that, those that came with a lighter you started to lean towards each other and over centuries and centuries and millenniums things took its course evolution right so black people ask yourself why do they hide your history why do they demean you with the same scientific theories that they come up with. Why do they put everybody that looks like you down? Why do they believe everyone that looks like you is bad or evil person? You have to understand you are something special. And you should never be ashamed of what you look like, where you come from, what you 
what you had to do. As long as it wasn't heinous or, I mean, egregious or just anything like just remotely crazy, right? I mean, like a true mistake or just things that you had to do to survive, like truly survive. I'm saying those things are not who you are. But those things shouldn't even be honed on you in the first place. We're put in these positions because certain people have animosity towards us. However, we want to believe that a lot of people that have a different complexion than us don't, don't harbor resentment simply because of their teaching. We will be foolish. I'm not telling you harbor hate. I'm not telling you to act violent. However, I'm not t I am telling you not to tolerate any more BS. You're special. They know it. You know it. The problem is when you go against yourself, the body wants to tell you you shouldn't be on your knees. You're a child of God. You're an angel. And right now, you're just laying down. For what? For demons? Demons that never do their own bidding? My black people, my beautiful black people, understand that you are all you will ever need. Because God gave you everything that you needed regardless of how the world feel how they believe they tell you exactly how special you are but they try and demean it so that therefore you don't catch on to it you feel worse you still search and need of an actual identity They keep stripping of our identity. They keep stripping our pride, our ego. So therefore, we're trying to be superficial and artificial with it. Understand you special. And regardless of who hates it, don't care. Keep floored. Because they can mock. They can joke. They can theorize, but we all understand the truth, and they put it in our face. So one thing I need you to do is start moving in your own light, because the darkness is not yours. Your seed has already been planted and grew. It evolved, and you're here to do the Lord's work. Which is be yourself, be free, and live and love life. Most importantly, love yourself so you can love your neighbor. So, from here on now, move accordingly. And never let nobody disrespect you, disrespect anybody like you, and make you feel lesser. Because you more than enough. God given. And that's a fact.